Coach Helfrich wants competition because that's going to make us all better. So I don't think any of us can argue against that. And as far as, you know, as a quarterback, our goal is to get the ball in the end zone and, and not turn it over. So I think those are two big keys and, and just kind of being a leader. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely a different role. Um, new team. Uh, different guys are going to have to step up and be leaders. I think that a big role for me is, is to kind of step up in that position. Uh, so I think definitely, you know, a different role. And I think a lot of other people on this team also have new roles. I mean, yeah, we all have different strengths. Um, we all can do a lot of good things uh, the same. A lot of us can do some things better than others. And, you know, personally, I just kind of worry about myself and just try to be a leader out there, um, make sure our young guys are lined up, make sure we got the right call up front, and just kind of, you know, get the ball in the end zone is my number one goal. And if we do that, I don't really care how we do it. I think it's it, the summer's always a good time. Um, just kind of, you know, the coaches aren't really allowed to have a lot of contact. So when it's just kind of us out there with the strength and conditioning, it's kind of up to us to get things done. Um, and when you just leave it up to us, it's, it's a really good bond just kind of being out there in the summer and the heat and running. So definitely grew a lot this summer. Yeah, I mean, we're working out a lot during the week here about, you know, in the summer, you're working out, doing a lot of throwing, a lot of lifting. So not, you know, as much time as you think for that, but definitely as much as we can, trying to maybe just get in the film room, um, go over some things, any questions, just kind of mainly clear it up for any young guys that may, you know, have any questions going into fall camp. Have you been better than any of that stuff? Not to my knowledge. Uh, yeah, we've we talked. Um, we stayed a couple text messages. We've talked a little bit when he was down here for the spring game, hung out. So um, definitely have a little connection going into uh, fall camp. No, I mean it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean uh, I've, I've competed with guys before, Jake Rodriguez, um, all the guys we have now. And when you're a quarterback and you're such a small knit group, you guys all get along pretty well. So you know, not too weird. No, it's okay. It's your guys' job. Yeah, it's absolutely helped. I think uh, when you first get on this stage and, and you're competing with you know such talented guys that we have here at quarterback at such a you know a good school and university, I think you know three years of competing definitely helps to make that fourth one even easier. So I definitely you know don't take for granted the the stuff I've learned over the last three years of just how to you know compete at this stage and with this kind of attention, just kind of learning how to block it out. I mean, no. I mean, we got so many guys that can make plays. Um, you know, it's going to be a bummer not having Thomas out there, but we're going to have a lot of guys that will step up, just like we're going to have to have guys step up at, you know, receiver and offensive line and on defense. So I think it's no different. Um, the next guy up will will be ready to go, and we got a lot of guys that can make plays. Yeah, I mean, mainly just, you know, Coach Halford's Coach Frost, just kind of be myself, um, trust what I can do, uh, keep growing as a leader, and just, you know, trust myself and keep keep getting better and worrying about me. I think that's the main thing I've been focused on is just kind of improving myself and doing all the natural leadership type things I can do. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's just little stuff on the white, I mean, we can talk about on film going through practice, but... That's definitely something we focus on every day, but in, in the big picture, just kind of improving myself and trusting, you know, all my abilities is probably the big thing I've been working on. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a, you know, that's a big weight upon us quarterbacks is to make sure that center feels comfortable. Um, if he's making the call, make sure that, you know, you're echoing the call or, you know, maybe if you need to make the call, you make the call. But I think... Uh, kind of having the centers rotate, just kind of asking the quarterback to step up a little more. And so far, they've been doing a really good job of this summer, especially just kind of getting in that film room and being more comfortable with the calls because they're kind of that quarterback of that offensive line. What are your thoughts on Matt Hager? Awesome. I mean, he's, you know, he stepped in. He's, he's working hard. He's learning the offense as quick as he can. Um, just in walkthroughs today, he did a really good job. So I'm excited to kind of see him get out there, maybe not today without the pads on, but kind of get the pads out, make some calls, and actually see him play some football. Yeah, I mean, of course, we got all the guys that played last year, guys like, you know, Charles, Braylon, Byron, Dwayne. Um, and then, I mean, we got guys, you know, coming in their first year eligibility, guys like Jalen Brown, 
who uh, graduated early, redshirted, and he's ready to go. Uh, guys like, you know, they can come in and step in true freshmen. We've got three true freshmen playing receiver that all can play with Taj, Malik, and Kirk. So I think you're going to have a lot of guys out there that can make plays, and uh, it's going to be, you know, pretty exciting as a quarterback to have to be surrounded like, by those type of people. I mean, I think that's something every kid thinks about growing up, um, picturing himself, you know, dreaming, being out there as a starter. But, I mean, it's no different than – you try to think of it no different as a practice rep or your spring game rep or some reps you take in a game. It's just you're playing football. And I think whether, you know, the situation is kind of something you don't worry about. You just worry about the 11 guys out there on offense and on 11 guys on D and just, you know, one play at a time. And, you know, it's something everyone thinks about, but it's, it should be no different. Yeah, I mean, of course, uh, I think we'd all love to have Thomas out there. It just provides one more weapon in our offense. But we've we've missed guys like that before, and you just kind of got it next guy up and regroup and go. I think, you know, we've lost Braylon last year. Uh, we've lost Tyler Johnstone. So I think it's just guys, you lose guys, and you next guy up and you pick up and go. You can't worry about it too much. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're pl playing on this team with these type, you know, not only these players that can help you out, but these coaches, um, they do a great job of teaching you and great job making you feel prepared. And having those coaches and that staff and your teammates around you, there's no reason to feel pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, He's, you know, he's a good person and a great player, obviously. But uh, I would say, you know, you can learn a lot about him and the X's and O's and how to play and all that such, which is great. But I'd say the biggest thing is just how to, how he handled, you know, success, how he handled things like this, how he handled, you know, going to the mall and getting recognized. So just how you handle that much attention and success like he did is probably something, you, you know, that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Are you going to recognize you Not too much. I, try, I blend in pretty good.